Hello everyone, it's Citizen Mix here and welcome to a brand new video in The Sims 4. We are doing a challenge guys and I decided to do some face cam for this challenge because I asked you guys on Twitter if you minded face cams because I noticed some people do, some people are like, no I don't want face cams, I don't like them because they hide the game. So um, I, I asked and you people seem to like it. So uh, I'm gonna keep the face cam for this challenge and see if you guys don't mind it. So for this video we are in uh, my build save basically because you can see we have other builds that are uh, on the channel but we are doing a challenge which is the solid color challenge so i'm gonna leave the link in the description for the rules the rules basically are use objects only of that color and uh that's what we're gonna do we're gonna build a house only using one color and for the color that i chose you might ask you might be like oh what color did you choose so uh I wanted, I really wanted to do a pink house <laughs> and I was like, oh, I, I really, really want to do a pink house, a fully like only pink and it happened in the ultra build challenge that I did, if you haven't watched that video, I'm gonna link it um, in an info card and um, yeah, that happened and that house was kind of pink and uh, then I asked on Twitter, would you like to see something like a solid color build or whatever, some kind of video would, would you would like to see and Erin uh, said you should do a pink house. <laughs> so literally it was like three things coming all together. Also, excuse my hair, it's quarantine hair, so don't mind it, uh, it's quarantine hair, it's quarantine hair. So for the house, I don't want anything crazy, I don't want a big giant home, just a little, a little... I guess it would be kind of a small home. Uh, I don't intend to use the small home lot type, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm thinking of maybe something like this. We are gonna add a little like patio with maybe like a wraparound porch like this one. Um, and I think I'm going to take this part in. So we have like the three sides that are, are like open. Also, I have no idea if we have any kind of um, spot, the, any kind of roof color that is gonna be considered pink. We'll see, obviously, about that. So I'm gonna actually change the structure a little bit because I wanted to make more sense with the roof. So I'm gonna make this part a little bit bigger. And actually, you know what? No, I want to do uh, a little outie, which sounds weird, but like this, a little shoot out like here and uh, I guess um, there would be another one. Oh, no, this is diagonal, not diagonal. Uh, here, so that those are centered. Um, that means that this side here is a little bit weird now. Uh, so I might do this, close this off like this. Uh, so we do have a porch. I'm going to raise up this foundation so we can see it a little bit better. Yeah, uh, that was more or less the idea behind it. Obviously, this has to be a little bit longer because it's a double porch. I have to step it apart. I think I want a roof like this here. So it's slanted. That's decent. Okay. And that is going to be the same as the roof up here. Obviously, this is going to be a little bit smaller because it's too, too tall. Good. And then we're going to do the same on these two. You know what? I don't mind it. I don't mind it. So we are going to copy this roof, put it right there, reduce it a whole lot. And uh, that's kind of good. Uh, at this point, this roof might be at the same size of this one, so it makes more sense. Um, it's fine, it's a fine, it's a little nice house. So let me see if there are there is a roof color that is considered pink, because that's something... Okay, there are, there are some colors. And we need, obviously, a trim. I like this trim, usually. That's, like, the best trim. Good. Uh, we need a pink foundation. And we only have one, so we have to use this foundation. Do we have pink columns? They, they, they work decently well, in my opinion. So, let me add a couple. I think we could do that. I definitely want more in the front. 
Uh, but I guess I have to choose where the door is. I think the door is going to be in the middle. So that's going to be more or less the, the, the whole thing of the house. So let's go into this. Ooh, okay. So let's see if there's a nice like paint that we can use. I think there are woods that are like wood cover siding. Uh, they're pinkish. So maybe we do actually the siding outside. Just to make it a little bit more interesting because otherwise it's a uh, very samey samey looking so we're gonna see if there is a pink door which i have no idea if there is and if there isn't oh okay there are cool we have pink doors um let's start also demolishing the interior walls because we don't need this right now i'll have to find a place for the stairs as well uh, for pink doors, I would like to have a double door. So like this one, I would like to go a little bit older style. So I guess that one would be that. Uh, otherwise, there is this guy, which is double as well. And this guy as well. Maybe this is not a bad door. So I have no clue why it's counting this for pink. It's definitely not pink. It's green. Maybe this tag is not perfect. But uh, I think we're going to use like these guys uh, with the little flap <laughs> the little flaps <laughs> why do i call, why did i call them flaps they're not flaps um i think those are oh maybe the bigger ones since we are at the front of the house you know i think that could be nice so uh since we don't really have any i don't think we have no we don't have any woods uh i wanted wood obviously in the porch but we are gonna probably go with some tiles and those are fine in my opinion tiles are good we have a lot of carpets uh, which is okay I don't really like the carpets um, but um, we can use oh, maybe this one can go in the kitchen that's not a bad kitchen floor and uh, in the bathroom we're gonna use this tile because it's very bathroom -y. maybe this one actually goes in the kitchen and this one goes in the bathroom yeah and for the rest of the house uh, we might go with these, I don't love them, but they are pretty pink. And uh, let me choose a door, so this door is going to be the one that I'm going to use throughout the entire house, so it has to be a good door, and I think I'm going to use the stranger real one because it's closed. Um, so definitely we're going to have the door for the bathroom in the office, I think. Probably we are going to do something different here, I think we're going to use columns and a freezer. I think they're called freezers. How, do, how is this called? No, spandrels, sorry. I completely I completely missed the mark. Um, I think I'm gonna use a spandrel. So let's start furnishing. I put some, some lights so we can see a little bit better. Uh, I'd like to have like, probably like a little like uh, space under the stairs right there. I don't think I want to close that up. Uh, so for the living room, uh, we have a lot of couches, which is good. Uh, I was kind of... Uh, thinking that we might be a little bit on the um, no couch side but we are good we're good um, I think I want like a simple couch I really struggle with couches I'm sorry guys uh, I think this couch is fine I, I want to go a little bit older style obviously with this house uh, with the like obviously the aesthetic it's more suburban uh, um, looking uh, so I think it's gonna be fine if it's a little bit like older looking there is a TV. Here's the penguin. It's the penguin TV, but it works. It's a TV, so that's fine. Uh, we also add a nice table in the middle, I think. Uh, maybe this Moschino one. It's the, it doesn't go with the aesthetic, I guess. Um, hmm, maybe this guy. Honestly, the last thing that we might need in here, it's a little painting. Uh, and I think just something that fits in that spot nicely and it's pink i need something that's pink um i guess this but it's boring it's dumb um oh oh tiny living coming in clutch i love you tiny living i love tiny living i'm sorry i love tiny living um so now we're gonna change the lights uh for something a little bit more on brand for this house um, I don't mind this guy as well, honestly. Uh, but if we do that, we need at least one of these um, side lights, which at this point is probably going to be the Chimera, even though it's very purpley. 
Um, but I think that works. And that's probably gonna be the light in the bathroom as well. So now we're gonna move on to the kitchen and dining. And for those, I think we have counters that are pink. I, I, yeah, I, we, we washed it before. Uh, they're not really the style that I've been going for, but we might use the base. Nah, we're gonna use these ones. Um, they're a little bit better. Uh, I know they're not really the style that we wanted uh, since, you know, we, we were supposed to be like, um, you know, an older looking house. And we're, it's really not that with these counters, but it's fine, I guess. I'm gonna move this trash can here so that the pet doesn't eat next to the trash can. That's not lovely. Um, let me go get a nice carpet. Yes, exactly what I wanted. And that guy. And let me get another one. I like to do in, doing two, so it feels like food and water, even though the game doesn't work like that. Um, but I like the idea of, of doing that. Uh, we have this one. Is that pink? Is that technically pink? It is. Uh, I'm more more pleased now. Um, do we have chairs that work with that one? We do have these. They're not very pink, though, in my opinion. These ones are very outside doors, so... Uh, outside doors? <laughs> They're not outside doors. They are very outdoorsy. Definitely, the kitchen is the most modern part of this house. Uh, but I don't mind it too much. Oh, we might put a candle somewhere. Uh, here, just to have a candle. So this is gonna be the office area. I have no idea if we have a pink computer. Maybe we have a pink laptop, though. And that would be good. I'm gonna put that guy here. And uh, mm, mm, mm. let me see. What kind of what kind of activities can we do that are pink? Oh, we have a table, the, the flower arranging table. I don't know if I want the flower arranging table. Stuff for kids. That's good also. Uh, activities for kids. Uh, maybe like this activity table. Uh, it makes sense here, I think. Good. I think I want this to be also like kind of a playroom. Um, so let's put a unicorn in. Why not? And probably a box for, of toys. Uh, that's probably stuff that's gonna be also in uh, the child room. Um, but just so that we have a little bit more stuff to, to add in. Yeah, so that's a little other room done. Probably this is going to be a little bit more in the middle, so it doesn't clip either doors, and it's good. So let's move on to the bathroom, this carpet, and we're done, bathroom is done. Actually, I was thinking, since this is a pet house, we might fit a pet bed here, and I'd like to fit the bigger one. So if it goes in the middle, unless I think the Sims can still walk, like, without any problems around this because they don't really care about it. It's like a carpet like kind of situation. It's just that the dog is gonna go there. And I think like it's realistic to have it like spread randomly because the dog would probably like move it around and use it. So I think it's totally fun and fair. Oh, it's too small for to be a bathroom dog. Do we have the, um, is, uh, the, the, the wall uh, hidden? Thing. Is that is that pink? Is, is there a pink version of that? There is. Is this? Oh, yes. Perfect. But they do not have a bathroom upstairs, which is not great. Uh, so, yeah, we might have to rearrange some stuff, I think. No, you know what? It's fine. Let's start doing this bedroom. I don't know if we have the pink vanity, which I, I don't think we don't. No, we don't. Um, do we have a standing mirror? Yeah, we have a standing mirrors that are being done. So that's good. We could do those. Probably that guy. Good. Uh, here. You know what? That might be the bathroom. That might be the bathroom. Again, I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit everything in this place. Uh, in this spot. Um, but if we can, I'm gonna do it. Um... So that's gonna be like that. And then we're gonna copy the same stuff that we have in the other bathroom downstairs 
is definitely gonna be a small bathroom and definitely it's going to be um probably just a half bathroom i guess the last thing that we can add is decor so let's add some plants that's good uh this guy maybe okay let's do the child bedroom which is gonna be the last part of this house and then we're gonna do a little bit of landscaping and the trailer i don't i did not, have not forgotten about that we're gonna probably need toys that's for sure uh that's good that's good i like this it's looking it's looking great a nice backpack right here do we want a computer just for them that's an idea we could do that do we have a monster light i don't think we do which is not good because monster lights are basically a necessity yeesh yeesh i think good this laptop right here since we can you know why not uh so this is done that's done i'm definitely gonna use one of these absolutely and i really don't want to do this but uh you know since we have it and it works and it's fun i'm gonna do it uh if you don't know this was the 20th anniversary thing not good not good so we are gonna have a big patio at the back that's good so i think that this looks pretty cute like as a back garden i know the pool is small but the idea is just just a little pool where you can chill like a little hot tub kind of pool uh, i know we also have the hot tub but that's fine in my opinion we just need uh first thing first i'll have to clean that side up mm -hmm. and we just need a trailer now so there is this object in the bag that you see placed right down here that makes it look like a trailer and i love that object it's from the base game uh, so you should have it even just if you have the game is this object right here you have to search in the bag it takes a while to find it but it's fine and you can find it and it works and it's a nice little thing having this trim really helps in my opinion uh, obviously we cannot have it there because of the stairs but uh, it, overall it, it works so i'm okay with it obviously we're gonna do the siding colors and that's gonna be the same up here for windows i'm gonna use the small ones that's for sure i think three on this side and three on this side uh so right now the only object that's not pink is that thing like right there and the cars but those are white and this is like neutral so and since those are debug i'm not very much counting those if you guys think that those are cheating you can just take them out this still looks like a trailer even without that i think it just gives a little bit more um of a look i think we do need a bathroom as well since it is like next to the pool we can do like a pool uh bathroom let's add a nice light in this case uh, I don't like the wall. I think I'm gonna change the color of the wall and let's do an actual like full bathroom if we can I think we totally have the space to do a full bathroom here uh, So it's not gonna be enough bathroom like the others and definitely this is gonna be a little bit more modern Because we do have it's like a separate part of the house So it's fine if it is a little bit more modern. So yeah, we have also a trailer I like that. Uh, it's not the best trailer ever but it is a trailer, it works, it's nice. And also, I wanted to add columns here and do a little fencing job. You know what? That doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad. Also, we are probably going to landscape this house with very few things. Like, what kind of bush do we have? We have these. Oh, I love these. These are one of my favorite bushes in game. Just in game just to do something different i've never used this bush thing before uh, so i'm just excited that i'm using them finally in my life just before for the first time those are the same flower that's good so you have the smaller version as well oh that's good that's lovely Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we're gonna do them also near this tree. And 
Let me cut more flamingos. And uh, more. I, I need flamingos everywhere. Just hidden in uh, this garden. Just the front. I don't care about the rest uh, to be like flamingoed. But the front it makes sense because it's like you presenting um, to the rest of the neighborhood. And uh, I think we are done, guys. I think we are done. This is my monochrome pink house with trailer. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, we are gonna do a little tour, um, just super, super brief uh, in a second. Uh, and I'm gonna also put the screenshots and I'm gonna upload it to the gallery. So if you wanna copy it, it's on the gallery. Uh, it should be already on the gallery as soon as you watch this video. So yeah, let's do the little tour. Let's go. So this is the front of the house. It's pink, it's nice. Let me go straight in. We have some stuff here, nothing crazy. Let's go in. So this is the living room. That's pretty fun. That's a fun living room. I'm, a, I'm pleased with that. It looks good. It's super pink, but it, 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 likes, it looks like a living room and it works. So I'm super pleased with that. Then kitchen and dining, again, super, I love this dining table right here. I love that. Kitchen is fun, it's nice. There's stuff for the dog, that's good. Here is the office area, that's also like kind of a playroom, that's good. There is all the stuff here, there's some decoration. And if we go in here, bathroom. And the bathroom is just a bathroom. Upstairs, let me go up. This is the nice little landing for the stairs. That's cute. And here is the master bedroom. Again, super pink. It's super nice. I like it. And also, little inside half bathroom, wardrobe. Love that. Super functional. Super nice. And if we go here, ba -ba bim, bada boom, kids room. Super nice kids room. I, this is probably my favorite room of this build. And if we go outside. Boom, we are in the pinkest, pinkiest backyard ever. So there is like, this is the back of the house, this is the back exit, uh, and this is the stuff that you can do. You can go to this pool, you can use the hot tub, you can do, do some stuff here, and here is the trailer. It's a nice little trailer, and we have some entertainment inside. So there is a bar, music, there is a sitting area, and a TV, and the pool bathroom. I think it turned out pretty good. Honestly, I kind of like it. You guys can let me know what you think about this house in the comments down below. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Put on notifications so that you know when the next video is coming out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to do more challenges if you guys like them. And uh, this is up on the gallery. You can check it out. I'm going to leave you to the screenshots and some nice music. Thank you so much for watching and a bye bye.